Good evening, gentlemen, and welcome. Uh, I'm personally honored on behalf, of course, of ABC and uh, AFS as the lead sponsors of uh, this uh, event. I uh, welcome, of course, His Excellency, the Governor uh, Rashid Maharaj. I uh, welcome our distinguished guest, uh, a number of industry leaders, and uh, the least but not lost, our customers, who are here today in numbers. Uh, somehow it's very difficult to put myself in the 21st century and to talk about the cutting edge of it without probably looking back at the 20th century and what looks really set apart and very far tonight from uh, what we're going to talk about tomorrow morning. But I just remember a say of uh, André Malraux, the uh, cultural minister of Charles de Gaulle, asking, being asked what's culture. And the response is, culture is, is everything that you forget. Everything is that you remember. The only thing that you remember when everything is forgotten. And what I can remember from all my history books is that when there's a school, when there is a university, where there is a church, mosque, a museum, the world around changes. Life completely blossoms and people see different experiences. And why I'm saying this and what's the relevance of this is that last year, when uh, Chandra in IFS came about and said, why don't we launch, in fact, a FinTech conference? Frankly, within the world of ABC, except Sa'el, nobody understands much about it. But at the time, Chandra already has his first encounters with the FinTech world, and he's put together a number of good uh, products to his customers, and they worked very well. And he said, why not expanding this experience, in fact, to the larger market in Bahrain? and talk about this. And we went into that venture. And frankly, the outcome has been stunning. And I'm saying this with hindsight after one year. Uh, I think our regulators won't have a different view. Uh, and all our stakeholders have equally been impressed. But I think what has amazed us at ABC as a bank is that we have seen for the first time true FinTech players people in their 20 years plus, uh, graduating from top school in the world, ditching banks' work, and call themselves CEO. And we find a Jordanian guy who is advising an American bank, or a Brit who is advising uh, an Egyptian bank in Cairo on, uh, on uh, SMEs. And this is a core market for us, a core product for us, and we are breaking our head into 20 parts in order to reach into this population because the regulator in Egypt wants us to build 20% of our balance sheet in SMEs. And here someone comes from London and offering a solution. So we said, gosh, this is very, very serious. We've read about FinTech, we've heard stuff in media, but this is, this is the first time we see in blood, people talking about fintech in a way that we've never seen in the past. There was a departure. The school that has been in our neighborhood, changing our lives, that's the example. Then uh, we realized that there's no place to hide. This is not about countries. This is not about people. This is not about identities. This is not about status. This is something completely different, and we need to embrace it. So we emerged from that conference stronger, more powerful, and certainly more committed. It has been a year long since we had that conference. And during that year, we met many, many new friends. And we learned many, many new things. And that had led ABC and AFS, uh, respectively, to launch some new ventures. And uh, we are in the process of launching, in fact, a fintech company. We'll spin off a fintech company out of, of AFS. And ABC is on the verge to launch, in fact, its own neobank. Now, those people who have met in this journey are, I think, the best that we can come across. And we said, time has come to offer these connections to you. Because at the end, we value our customers. And we would like to help you achieve the same goals that we are trying to achieve. So tomorrow, 
we will have some excellent speakers that will not disappoint you. So for those, and I know there is a number of them who made the journey to Bahrain and traveled from faraway places, it would be a great event, I can promise you. And I hope that it will change as much lives of others as much as it did with us. And I know that some of you are already ahead of us. So we will benefit tomorrow from your, from your interaction. But also, we couldn't have done this without the government of Bahrain being very supportive uh, through the Economic Development uh, uh, Board and their very dynamic chief executive. They just, in fact, closed the Bahrain uh, uh, FinTech Bay, uh, which is, I think, a stunning success. And it's right. They deserve it. This is a place where you have skills, you have talent. This is a place uh, where you have commitment and enterprise spirit. So uh, if there is a place that deserves to take the leadership in the region, I think Bahrain um, is one. And uh, we're very privileged, in fact, to be operating in this market and to benefit from this association. And of course, our other sponsor is His Excellency Rashid al Maraj himself, who has embraced, in fact, the first conference, but this time he's leading it. Again, if I have to quote something else, Paul Volcker has been asked what's a central banker 30 years ago. He said, probably a mystic. This would not work today because what you need is openness. Now, Governor Rashid has the openness, the transparency, the communication, but also the leadership. He wants, in fact, to put in the limelight artificial intelligence, fintech, disruption, series one into the market. Well, Governor Rashid, tomorrow, maybe tonight we are talking in the darkness of a dining room, but tomorrow we will see new ideas coming from the first day of light. So have a fantastic conference, and we will be with you to enjoy it. Thank you so much.